Detroit City High School. Welcome back to another edition of RCTV. My name is Abby Stinson. And I'm Alec Garcia. On this episode, we'll take an in-depth look at the Laughing Llamas Improv Group. We'll check out this next week's weather forecast. We'll take an inside look into the Red Cross Blood Drive. We'll say goodbye to our beloved principal, Mr. Young. And we'll end with a heartfelt documentary created by our very own Abby Stinson. That's all right here, right, right now, now, on, on RCTV. RCTV. Since its creation, the Laughing Llamas Improv Group has provided hilarious comic relief for the students of our city, while also providing a creative outlet for all of its participants. Here's Niza and Kyle with the story. Ever heard of the Laughing Llamas? Well, the Laughing Llamas is the improv troupe here at our school. It consists of a bunch of funny kids who are inspired and enjoy making people laugh. Basically, we have rehearsals every single Tuesday, and we just plan, come up with games, we have auditions, so we can have performances. Laughing Llamas gives me an um, opportunity to work and collaborate with very imaginative and very creative people, and it's a really good way to help me with just my overall theater experience and, be and to become a better actor. I joined Laughing Llamas because I saw it as an opportunity to be in a place where I could feel very comfortable with just coming up with random ideas that I can have fun with and I won't be judged and I can be around plenty of other people who really like the same things I do and enjoy having fun the way I do. I thought it would just be a really fun place to hang out and be able to express myself in such a way. Well, Laughing Llamas just seems like something that could be so much fun and I love spending time with people who are funny, interactive, just fun to be around. You should join Laughing Llamas because it's a great way to connect with a bunch of people while like not being as serious as theater, but like having fun and enjoying the process of creating something. I think people should definitely join Laughing Llamas. We're a collection of theater nerds and people who like to joke around and who want to make people laugh and want to make people feel good. I think everyone who has any inspiration to join something they've never thought they could ever do before and have just a fun humor and be around a variety of people who know how to have fun should totally audition and try out because it's a really fun place. You really find things about yourself you wouldn't think you could. Because it's an extremely fun experience. It's a great way to meet new people. It's a great way to interact with others. And it's just overall something that everyone should do. Well, if you want to distract them from your depressing life and failing grades, we have something for you. Does four nights of rest sound like a good night's sleep? Well, come down and come see Laughing Llamas. At 7 o'clock, November 30th, at the... We're ganging up at the pack. Be there or be, be square. square. All right, folks. Sorry to start your weekend with some bad news, but it looks like your Saturdays are going to be spent indoors with some cold rains coming through. Vlog seems to turn around by Sunday with rain subsiding with sun coming out leading to two brisk days of sun on Monday and Tuesday before the clouds come back on Wednesday along some warmer temperatures. Now back to Abby and Alec. This past Friday, RCHS hosted a student blood drive. We sent Lily to check it out. On Friday, November 30th, Roy City High School held a Red Cross blood drive where students volunteer to help out people in need and donate blood. The process is super simple. Before donating, you'll answer some questions about your medical history and have your temperature, pulse, blood pressure, and blood count checked. The actual donation only takes about 10 minutes. After you're done, you'll want to sit and rest for a few minutes, drink lots of fluids, and take it easy the rest of the day. 4.5 million people each year need a blood transfusion. Looking at those numbers on a smaller scale, one in seven people admitted into a hospital needs blood. Only 37% of the U.S. population is eligible to donate blood, while less than a third of that actually do. 15% of all blood donors are high school or college age students. I asked Roy City High School to send in a video on why they choose to donate blood, and here's what they said. I donate blood because it is a great way to give back to the community for me. If I don't have any money or if I don't have time to commit to a service project, I can always give blood. If I can help one kid or one adult that has the same blood type as I have, then I feel like that is my way to reach out and help. To help save people's lives. Easy for me and it can directly have an impact on someone's life and uh, possibly save it. Donating blood is beneficial for everyone involved. Make an appointment with your nearest blood drive association and give blood today. This has been Lily Bullock with RCTV. Over the past month, RCHS said its final goodbyes to our beloved principal, Mr. Young. Here's Caden and Jonathan with the story. 
Mr. Young started his teaching career at Roy City 33 years ago and has greatly impacted the school and the students who attend it ever since. Oh. I guess my achievements, if that's what you want to call it, is making connections with different kids over the years. Probably more than anything, I'm, I'm going to miss the kids. Um, every year you think, you know, that was, you know, you got these kids that you get attached to and there will be another group like them. And then all of a sudden you find out there's another group just like the ones before and you fall in love with them and care about them just as much as you did the last group. So those are going to be the hard things to give up for a while. But, you know, I'll still go to graduation and stuff like that to just be in touch with kids. We also asked Mr. Young what he would do after he left the school. I've got a few options. Um, I could possibly go to work for A&M working with student teachers. I'll have to kind of call them and make sure that they still want me to do that. Uh, that's a possibility. Uh, the guy that comes here and uh, does the drug testing, he wants me to start working with him in January, so that I will probably do for a little while. Um, other than that, right now, I'm going to take a few months off, and then after that, then I'll find something to get busy with because I, I won't stay at home every day. I already miss it, and I'm not even gone yet. This has been Caden Pyer and Jonathan Barden reporting for RCTV. Over the summer, my mom and I were asked to join my boyfriend's family and church on a mission trip to the Dominican Republic. Here's my story. I didn't know what to expect. I'd never really been out of the country or on a mission trip for that matter. So I did what most people would do. I searched it. But what I found was nothing short of paradise. I thought to myself, this can't be right. Why would a place like this need my help? And then I tried another search. Dominican Republic poverty. That was it. Why didn't all of this come up in the first search? In that moment, I decided that this was something I needed to do. Just a year ago, we started having some troubles with the leaking in the roof because of the sealant that it's, it's getting older and the humidity in the country, now uh, it's all gone and we need to repair that. We found out that the work that needs to be done was so expensive we couldn't do it by ourselves. Uh, we are requesting the help because every time it rains, it's raining also in the east side. And actually part of the roof is already uh, with some holes and we are having the risk of being shut down by the Ministry of Education and the public health system of the country because under these conditions with the mold and the leaking, we are not supposed to be teaching the children. Thank you for watching this episode of RCTV. If you want to see any more of our content, check us out at youtube.com slash RCTV Teen News. And consider leaving a donation at the link below. For RCTV, this has been Ali Garcia and Abby Stinson signing, signing out. out.